Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen. The captain is fastening a seat belt and he's getting ready to take off to go home. So are you guys ready to join the captain? So fasten your seat belts and let's get the, this truck rolling down the road. We back up a little bit to make sure that our brakes are not frozen solid. That's right. So here we go. Well, just something dropped. Uh, I had a receipt that I put in there. And for some odd reason that dropped. It dropped on me, so... Here we go. Let's get the brakes released and let's get back on it. There we go. As you can see probably it's light flurries out there. We got 436 kilometers to go till we will be home or about that. I know the GPS is still uh, telling me a little we are a little further down the road if I can speak right. Okay, nobody coming there, that guy is turning off. So we are good to go. So let's get us on the road here. And let's see. Well GPS has recalculated and it says five uh, 435 kilometers till we will be home. So it's quarter to nine right now. That is Central Standard Time. Yeah, so let's make our way home and see uh, if we will have any kind of bad snowstorm again today. I heard yesterday that they're supposed to get some snow up in Manitoba. And so that's why we drove kind of late last night and maxed out our hours, I only had 15 minutes left on the logbook, so, uh, but I was uh, pretty much maxed out on my 16 hour window that we have to drive our 13 hours in in the United and uh, Canada. I almost said United States, but <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. I misspeak too, you know. That's the way it is. But we are leaving Ignis. Ontario right now so uh, I went in this morning well yesterday I just basically uh, went straight to bed I, I was super tired and then uh, this morning we went in had a shower went and grabbed some breakfast did my logbook and all of that perfect time by the time I was done with all of that with my logbook and everything, perfect time to be leaving. It's perfectly 10 hours. So that's fantastic news. Got my 10 hour break. We're all good to go. I feel fantastic this morning after having a nice hot shower. It was actually a pretty good shower that they had up there. Yep. Look at that painting there on that building there to the right. That looks pretty good. Yeah, this is the town of Ignis, Ontario. Not much of a town or not not from the looks of it. It doesn't look very big, but uh, nice little town though. Must be quiet in here. This is the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way it goes. They got a little SO here to the left. 
they got a uh, subway in there and they got enough parking in there where you can actually pull in there and go grab yourself a subway sandwich so that's nice they don't really want trucks parking in there overnight but they allow us to uh, to come in there and then park the, just enough to go get the sandwich and now I mean I don't think they'll kick us out during the day but at night they would kick us out but, but yeah anyways let's put the hammer down and let's go home hopefully we won't have too much issue today with the road I mean if it just has the slight flurries that we see right now I mean I don't think we should have a problem but then again you never know could always be an accident or whatever right here we are in Dryden, in Ontario that's right we're making good time it seems like from here it's only about three and a half hours and we'll be home yeah I'm loving it I'll be home before you know it I'll be home before you know it that's right I'm excited to I'm exciting to go home excited to go home yeah it's been seven days since I haven't been home I left last week Friday it's time to go home again although I will only be doing a reset and go again my plan is to go out on Saturday again. Well, that'll be awesome. Then you get me a good trip on Saturday. Yeah, up here to the right here at that husky, I stay up here sometimes. Because we pick up loads out of this area sometimes, you know. And I do sometimes go here and get me a bite to eat or whatever, you know. Yeah, it's still snowing a little bit. But that's alright. As long as it doesn't snow more than what it currently is doing, we shall be alright. Especially considering we only have about three and a half hours to go home, right? Should be alright. Yep, this is a fairly big town. I don't even know if they call it a city, but it's a fairly nice town. We got that big paper mill up here. I bet a lot of people uh, do work at that paper mill. That's a big paper mill. That indeed it is. Oh, gotta stop here. Got a red light. That's right. We don't want to go through red. That wouldn't be good. That could get me fired, <laughs> I guess. I mean, they're not supposed to do that, so. But anyways, looks like it's uh, gonna be perfect timing to get home for a nice barbecue or something, or some kind of cookout. We'll see exactly what it's gonna be. Looks like some livestock. So let's get on down the road and see what else I'll be able to show you today.
Here we go guys and gals. We just had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop here in Clearwater, Ontario. Yeah, that's right. Look at the difference from earlier. Now we got nice sunshine. That's right. Before it was cloudy and it was sort of light flurries and now it's like melting and sunny. There's still a few clouds up there in the air but other than that we're uh, we're looking pretty good. At least from my view I'm looking at it and it looks pretty good to me. It's using a lot of windshield washer fluid because of all the wet roads and stuff like that but other than that we're just giving her and we got, well, what do we got? We got 100 miles to get home, 160 kilometers. And we will be home sweet home, that's right. So let's get on down the road and make it home. Yeah, I can't wait till I get home. I need a break from driving, <laughs> a little bit anyways. I've been driving pretty hard the whole week, so time to take a day off. That's what I think. I haven't really even done any video editing here in a couple of uh, three days probably, in the last three days. So when I get home, that's probably all I'm going to be doing today. Probably not going to be a whole lot of different things that I'm going to be doing today. When I get home, it's going to be relaxing, maybe have a few beers and putting the videos together for you guys and that's pretty much it relax the rest of the day today and tomorrow that's right well guys as you can probably see we are now at our home terminal here in Steinbach Manitoba that's right we just finished dropping our trailer now we did our paperwork everything has been done handed in now we're gonna go home spend uh, time with the family that's right <coughs> gotta scan my card that way the gate will open up for me there we go so let's go home and uh, see the family We have made it home safely. Now we can go home and spend the rest of our day and tomorrow with the family. So we are going to take that opportunity to take every minute into consideration, into account, I guess you want to call it. Well guys and gals, we are at home. Yeah, that's right. And let's take a look. Look at this. We have gotten our business cards. That's right. I'm mean, looking at them. And I put a uh, post on uh, Facebook saying that uh, anybody wants some cards or whatever, hey, send me a private message on uh, Messenger or email me your address or whatever, and we'll uh, send you guys some business cards. Yeah. Maybe you can help me hand them out a little bit to your friends and family or maybe at your local town you can stick them on the wall somewhere and people can find out about me, you know. So, uh, yeah, i uh, gotten a bunch of replies already, So, uh, but not everybody is on Facebook. So I figured, well, I'm going to mention it here on video as well. Uh, I know the video is going to be seven days behind, but uh, hey, you can still email me and... Uh, if we haven't uh, sent anything to you yet, then uh, we will uh, definitely try and get that on the way. But uh, anyways, we are done for today. We've been quite busy writing letters and all that stuff. So uh, I guess we'll uh, see you again on tomorrow's video. Stay around because we got some cool things happening tomorrow. <laughs>
get going It's time to move on Put this behind me That day is gonna come 